TLSC Green Origin hosted the Anime of Blue Details at the Mall of Asia Arena this Sunday. And with attendees of approximately 17,000, it was hailed as the biggest rivalry in this country. And boy did it live up to its name. The TLSC Green Origin were able to overcome a 15 point deficit from the half and end the game with a 4 point lead courtesy of Joshua Toralpa's 3 point dagger. Hi, what's your name? Gio. Gio, Gio, what did you feel about the win today? Happy. Happy, how about you? Oh, uh, nice. Good. Nice. Let's, let's ask your dad. Okay, sir, ano po yung, oh, excuse me, ano po yung favorite part of the game? Yung kumbaga highlight? The, the three of uh, Toralba. Toralba, sir, yeah. All that really made a great impact. Uh, yes, yes. He's, who's your favorite DLSU player? Uh, it's uh, Thomas Torres. Thomas Torres, bakit po siya? Uh, he's from the South Green Hills also. Eh. Oh, uh, Alright, how about you guys? Who's your favorite DLSU player? Uh, Jaron Teng. Jaron Teng. Jaron Teng. Jaron Teng. Oh, hi, my name is Janine Choi, the courtside reporter for La Salle this season. Okay, so how do you think the game went, all in all? I think everyone would agree that it was very heart-wrecking. And sure, ako naman, lahat ng blood pressure ng lahat ng nanood, tumaas talaga. <laughs> so it was an exciting and it was a good game. So when La Salle was down by 14 points, what did you feel? I believe that we could get back, especially that's what happened in USD. Parang, if they could do it, then how can we not do it also? The DLSU Animal Squad garnered sixth place in the cheer dancing competition. However, they still rocked on with the team of rock stars. Here's Steffi for the team standings and the schedule of the upcoming games. Now an update on our standings. Both the men's and the women's basketball teams were triumphant against their opponents last Sunday, October 4. The DLSU Green Archers ended their first round with four wins and three losses, as the DLSU Lady Archers ended theirs with six wins and one loss. The DLSU Green and Lady Shuttlers both stand with six wins and one loss. Now, as the beach volleyball, table tennis, taekwondo, and the round two of the basketball season is about to begin, here is the schedule of their upcoming games. Now you guys, don't forget to like our Facebook page and for more updates, follow our Instagram and Twitter accounts. This is Steffi. And this is Ron. And you're watching you are watching Turn Number 78. 78 Updates. I'm Mala Saul. I'm Thomas Torres of the DLSU Men's Basketball and you're watching Archer's Network. 